fucking love Tristan, do you know what I mean? Like, I resent dishonest <laughs> It's just all processed <laughs> There's a fucking chemical with a Beyond bag. Well, eat a fucking bag of beans then, dude. That's some matrix, isn't it? Yeah, they rescue those animals from use. Yeah. How does that feel? How's it going, brother, all right? What's your uh, vlog with Tristan? All oh, right, yeah, cool, man. Yeah, interesting uh, conversation. But... Do you agree with him? He said he doesn't care about animal cruelty if, uh, if you eat them. Well, he started it off I with... Like, the do you know what I mean? Yeah, he doesn't care, yeah. We don't care about chickens. I like what him and Andrew stand for. Um, In other regards, but the fact that he doesn't care about animals, he puts a blind spot yeah. for farmed animals because he wants to eat them. I think that's yeah. pretty... Up. I've always wanted to have a debate with you, but the trouble is, like, I care about animals, but I eat meat, so I don't. You yeah, can't right. say you care about animals and eat meat. If you care about animals, yeah. you've got to align your yeah. what you believe with what you do. Yeah, yeah, completely. It's such a tricky conversation because, like, obviously, my partner cares about animals as well, but, like, should eat a burger. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's called disconnect. That's yeah. all it is. You're disconnected. If I had a cow here who was about to shoot him in the head and cut their head off so you could have a burger, you'd say, don't do it. I would rather be vegan than do that. Yeah. And that's just why I'm vegan. But, but besides feeling morally good with yourself about not eating meat. If I walk away from you right now and I'm like, I'm never eating meat again, like, that, that doesn't, it's not changing anything though, well, is it? Of course it has. So when you think of a sort of and demand system, yeah. if you buy uh, whatever, whatever the, the product is, you make up the demand for that product. So yeah. you've simply cut off your demand yeah. for the animals that will be tortured and slaughtered for you. Yeah, but so it's a big deal. But only on mass scale. So I don't eat the meat. It's already on the shelf in the packet. Obviously, you can't stop everyone from eating meat right now. But if every individual had your attitude, nothing would ever change, right? Yeah. And there's still a direct connection between the animals that are slaughtered and killed yeah. to you. Like if I don't buy it, though, someone else will buy it. Yeah, but then you've you've deleted your demand. Yeah, and what I'm saying is like what what you're preaching like makes sense on a mass scale. But I just I don't see vegan movements a bunch of individuals on a mass scale, and you would be one. Of those individuals yeah i'm saying you make a difference for the animals slaughtered for you imagine if i said you know what you can't stop all the dog cruelty in the world yeah. impossible yeah so what does my abuse of dogs matter i'm gonna abuse my dog at home tonight oh yeah i get you i get you i haven't got the right attitude because obviously obviously it's, so i suppose it's the single people that make the big change yeah, and it's your personal accountability bro like you, yeah. I, i'm sure your conscience holds you accountable for like direct violence yeah yeah. But not like buying a burger. Well, disconnect, but you got to make the connection. Yeah. That's happening because of you. Yeah. You pay for that. Did you used to eat meat? Yeah, how old are you? Uh, 24 today. Happy birthday. Yeah. So I ate meat for 26 years. Really? What, like McDonald's? Everything. Big steak. Everything, man. And then I... Uh... What happened to make you? Oh, my life story is a bit, I mean, yeah. you watch the Tristan thing? Yeah. You know, I was in gangs and I was in drugs yeah, yeah. and I, I went to prison, got sober. I hated being a hypocrite and I saw the, the steak in my plate the same way that you see like a dog or a whale or something like that. Yeah. I couldn't stand being a hypocrite. I wanted to make a difference and I decided to go vegan. Okay, I mean, it's, it's one thing going vegan, but what, what made you like take it to the max? So basically, imagine I'm going out and I'm abusing dogs or whatever, yeah. and I've stopped. Yeah. So it's a neutral kind of position. Yeah, yeah. So right now you're abusing animals and killing them through your choices. Yeah, yeah. Being vegan means you remove your support for that. Yeah. So you're neutral at that point yeah. in terms of, yeah. yeah. So what I do now is one step further, I try to help animals, which is a positive position. It's like I'm doing something more. I'm stopping you and you and you and you through helping you make the connection. It's God's work, to, isn't it? To maximize my impact. Yeah. And you could do that too. Yeah. If you I, care enough. Tristan Tank definitely ain't gonna. <laughs> so what? He ain't gonna <laughs> help us. <laughs> Please, mate. I fucking love Tristan, do you know what I mean? But like, yeah. well, when I was watching it and he went, I don't give a shit. Like, yeah, I, just, I don't care about animals. I don't care about this topic at all. Yeah. But you can like, like I've got friends that I don't agree with some things they do, but they're still your friend, you know? You're still like, but that there, like I think he deliberately has to not care because if he did care, he knows he'd be a hypocrite. So what he does, he says, I don't care about all animals in every case. Yeah. And I only care about humans because God created us. I would say a human is uh, made in the image of God. That's what I would say. And a pig is not made in the image of God. Yeah, and then you have like the social, like, yeah. I don't know if this is the right word, but like the social norm that like a dog's a pet, how is it? But he doesn't care about dogs either, man. If you're, if you're killing him for food, he doesn't care. Pretty sure he was very clear about that. He said, if you abuse a dog for no reason, that's bad. But if you abuse him to kill him and eat him, that's fine. I'm not gonna, gonna go stop you. Uh, I love dogs, but if you wanted to eat your dog, I would not have a problem with you eating your dog. I'm pretty sure him and Andrew have a dog saying, yeah, I know. I know, I asked him about that. Yeah. You didn't watch the discussion then. No, I, I did. Watch the start of it. Yeah, yeah, so. No, I talked to him about that. Yeah. He goes, yes, I'd have a problem with you eating my dog. But there are lots of people all over the world that eat dogs all the time. 
I'm not going to tell them not yeah. to, and I don't care what they do with their dogs. I don't care what other people do, essentially. So there's a very dismissive kind of attitude about it. China before. I've been to Hong Kong, yeah, talking about this. Pigs in cages? No, but I, I plan to do it, but, yeah. but I don't see it as morally different to pigs in cages, man. It ain't, is it? It's just hard though because like you know like eating a fish seems so insignificant doesn't it but like did you like you think that's cruel or not do you think that fish is feeling that i'd feel it yeah so they're having their own experience and uh, you might feel like it's insignificant com compared to your experience as yeah. a human robust and you have all these different concepts in your mind and future and past and present now fish are not dumb animals they're quite intelligent they have they build their own communities they they communicate with it they use tools there's a book called what a fish knows very interesting about how intelligent fish are but it's not the fact that they're smart yeah. it's the fact that they're sentient there's yeah. a difference right sentient being like attached to like I don't, I don't know what so basically, like, see how you're experiencing the world. You got vision, you got thoughts, you got uh, this sensation of feeling. Yeah. You know, this is all sentience, consciousness. Yeah. That's what has moral value, not intelligence, yeah. which is like a logic and computers, shit like that. Yeah. Because obviously, a, a dumb human matters has deserves the same rights as a smart human, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. That's what human rights are, universal. Yeah, of course. So these animals are also sentient. Yeah. Their experience matters to them, so they deserve rights as well. Do you believe they deserve rights? Uh, I suppose everyone does. Without rights, they're not protected. Yeah, true. I did see a pretty wild video the other day. A bunch of cows had been inside for like six, seven months, and they uh, got let out into like a green field and like literally looked like a human, like going, you know, celebrating. How happy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so they experience happiness, joy, sorrow when their babies are taken, and suffering and fear. Yeah, yeah, when I watched it, obviously I felt emotion off that, so that makes me feel like well, you're, you're not a hor horrible person, do you know what I mean? So I watch it and I'm happy that they're happy. But At you, the same time, I eat you're, you're causing their misery and their killing and their Indirectly. suffering. Because I'm pretty sure... Doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure of your Piers Morgan one, didn't you say, like, if you eat... I don't know. I don't not know. consciously, no, that's yeah, what I said. Yeah, yeah. He goes, so everyone that drinks thing. milk, according to you, is a murderer. No, not, not consciously. They don't know. But now you know what happens to animals in slaughterhouses so you can have milk in your coffee. And what are you going to do I about it? Because yeah. if you don't know, where is your duty to act? But those who know have a duty to act. You yeah. know. Yeah, so now you're, now you're at, at war with your conscience. Yeah. Do you resent people that eat me? Or do you think it's their choice? Do you think I resent dishonest f who try to justify it with lies. As cool and callous as uh, Tristan Tate is, he's honest. He's not technically as hypocritical as other people because he has this standard across the board. It's the ones who know how bad it is and lie and try to justify it with bull saying grass feels pain, don't you, you know, all that crap. Yeah. Yeah. Vegans are hypocrites or this That's who I resent. But when someone like, you care, you know what's wrong and you just haven't made that change, that full connection yet. I don't resent those people because they're people that are that our only hope, they're animals' yeah. only hope. Yeah, so I suppose you're saying, um, obviously you resent people that don't own, like, you know Tristan Tate, he owns the fact he doesn't give a Which I think is a more honest approach than, um, I think it's insane. I honestly think it's uh, callous. It's cold. It is. But you are, um, I don't know, man, it feels like you're wrestling with this idea. Like, you, you see animals happy and you feel it. Yeah. But it doesn't matter how you feel, man. It's hard, man. It matters I'd, how they feel. I'd like, always help an animal and, like, save an animal, but I, I couldn't, like, not eat meat. I'd... Have you seen a sanctuary before? Where they rescue pigs and chickens from... Yeah, there's one near where I live called Grace Deed, I believe. Okay. Well, they rescue those animals from... Yes. Yeah. From meat eaters. Because your yeah, demand is causing them to be in these places and to get slaughtered. They've been offered sanctuary from the choices of meat eaters. Yeah, yeah. How does that feel? Is it just, you, is the meat industry a billion like, pound industry? Oh, dude, what? I don't know, man, it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, up yeah, there, man. Yeah. And that's why we get a lot of pushback from the industry and they make up lies and try to say, oh, veganism will kill you, it's unhealthy, and ve vegans, uh, they, there's this big, it's like an anti-vegan wave and it's coming from the industry. Yeah, you, you think they like actually pump propaganda in that? 100% they do. There's actually people they pay. That's some matrix, isn't it? Yeah, it's the matrix. And you know, and Tate's all going about the matrix and all that. Veganism is being purported and propagated by the matrix because they don't want you to eat meat. They want you to eat vegetables. They want you to eat soy. There is no better display of the matrix than this. All you get to see is green grasses and pastures and humane happy labels. And when you look behind the label, this is what it is. It's decoding the matrix. It's the matrix. It is nuts on like a pack of eggs when you see a chicken grazing. In a yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> free range eggs here. Most of them are free range. It's 55%. Yeah. When you are looking at a free range farm, it's just a factory farm, dude. Well, it's don't... a big factory farm. What, and it, the eggs still say free range? Yeah. So that's not free range then? To the guidelines, yes. <laughs> right. 
So you can have like up to 16,000 in, in a barn. Yeah. They have to have access to the outdoors, but they don't get it because there's so many in them and there's a pecking order and they yeah. can't get out. Yeah. But they have to give them access, so they just have to have windows there. They don't have to open them. Yeah. And now with bird flu, they don't let them out. Yeah. And they suffer and die on their faces just the same. Yeah. And they go to get slaughtered just the same. Yeah. It's lies. Yeah, that is mental. Yeah, it's uh, good what you're doing anyway. Yeah. I, um... Are you going to continue to make my job harder by having to... Because if you don't go vegan, I'm going to have to work twice as hard. <laughs> you know, do, you know, do you know what it is as well? Do you know, I, I'm, um, so I, like, I know a little bit about nutrition and stuff. And you know, like, the carnivore diet and, like, how nutritious meat is. You, you know, like, on this... I don't know what it's called now, but you know, like, bacon and, like, all the fake beef and the fake burgers. And yeah, what about them? On the ingredients list, it's got, like... It just don't... You know, There's more words in an ingredient list than if you buy beef. It's just all processed well, wait a second. Just because there's ingredients in a plant-based burger, that doesn't mean that they're unhealthy. Because when you break down beef to its chemical components, the ingredients list is actually bigger. Every food is made up of chemicals. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So if you take a Beyond Burger, it might have pea protein, uh, isolate, uh, sunflower oil, yada, yada, yada. It'll be a list like that. Beetroot juice. Because they are making that plant-based meat out of its components. Yeah. That's why they put it on the label. Now, beef has beef, but if you broke it down to its chemical components, the list is, like, massive. Shout out to Lifting Vegan Logic, hey. He broke beef down into its chemical components and wrote the list. It's even longer. Now, what these carnivore quacks try to do is say, oh, there's this one ingredient in this food and therefore the whole food is poisonous. They are unscientific. There's no evidence to support a carnivore diet. In fact, the only evidence is bad for the carnivore diet. And there's plenty of evidence to support a whole foods plant-based diet. I've heard all this, like, you know, red meat's carcinogenic and all that. Yeah, it is. It's a class two carcinogen red There's meat. There's a flip side to the coin though that they say that because they don't want you to actually eat it because it is nutritious. What do you mean? All you see is meat advertisements. If they didn't want you to eat it, they would ban meat advertisements. What about someone that's been a Why don't they ban meat if they don't want you to eat it? True. Why has everyone always eaten meat? All the propaganda's meat focused. All the advertisements meat focused. It's a much bigger industry than, than veganism is. Yeah. In fact, they want you eating meat. Yeah, true. Just... It's a much bigger industry. There's a much more vested interest in meat, dairy, and eggs. It's in everything. Yeah, did you say it's a class two, carcinogenic? Uh, it's a class two B, uh, unprocessed red meat. Processed meat is a class one carcinogen. That doesn't mean if you eat red meat, you're gonna get cancer. No. It means it's a probable cause of cancer. I'm not a health um, promoter. I'm not yeah. here for your health. Yeah. Right, you can be healthy and plant-based. You can eat meat and also, if you increase your fiber, eat a lot of whole vegetables, you can displace the, the negative components of meat, but not of saturated fat in the meat. That's a heart disease risk, but you can be reasonably healthy if you have a... So I'm not here to say, if you ate fish, fish you're gonna die of cancer, right? Yeah. I'm not a, that kind of liar. What I am saying is that fish are sentient beings, cows are sentient beings, right? Yeah. They deserve respect. You can be healthy and plant-based if you supplement with B12, which is easy. Yeah. And, uh, how is it this justified for a sandwich? These are f***ing living beings. Imagine if we were doing this to people. I get what you mean. That's my argument. Yeah, I get what you mean. And the people go, well, there's a f***ing chemical in a Beyond Bag. Well, eat a f***ing bag of beans then, dude. <laughs> like, I don't know. How the f*** is that justified anyway? Look, it's cutting this f***ing sheep's head off yeah. for a lamb chop, dude. Is that snakes, bro? Yeah. yeah. That's not. How the f*** could you do that, though, like, like, like yourself? I couldn't actually do that. The only time I can do something like kill is if I really had to. But not an innocent being, man. Not an innocent right. being. I don't understand how someone could knock you for trying to do a positive message, right? But you know, like, I, I think it's amazing what you're doing. I, I'd stop an animal from being directly abused. But yeah. I, I'm not going to stop eating meat. But obviously, you probably hold present for that. Yeah, I think what you're doing, right? You think, you think, yeah, I think like, you're deliberately ignorant. nothing now. No, 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 I think you're not ignorant now. I think you've got enough information to make the change. What I think is you're being purposely cruel now. Well, purposely, deliberately careless towards beings that can't defend themselves from your choices, right? 10 years goes down the track. That's a lot of blood, man. That's a lot of suffering. That's a lot of killing. And you know, like sometimes you gotta stand for something, man. You gotta stand up for something. I don't know what you stand for in your life. To be honest, I'm quite like pushing uh, Andrew Tate's agenda, you know, positive. Yeah. You know, like, positive young man. Tristan said it's got nothing to do with being a man. I'm not one of these guys who says, oh, you have to eat meat to be a man. Being a man is about living by your own convictions, standing up and saying, this is what I believe in, being ready to challenge people on their beliefs, being able to stand up, say what you mean, mean what you, st mean what you say. That's what being a man is about. What makes you a man is standing up for what you believe in, 
uh, staying true to your principles. That makes you a f***ing man. Yeah. Defending your family if you need to. Defending yeah. your partner if you have to. Yeah, yeah. These things make you a protector. These beings are innocent. Yeah, completely. So it doesn't make us a man to abuse the innocent. You've got a level disconnect, but you're doing something horrible to them. They can't defend themselves from you. But I, I, indirectly. Yeah. So, but yeah. if I pay my mate to come and bash your head in right now, that's indirect. But I know what's going to happen if I pay him. I'm from the gang world, right? Yeah. This happens all the time and they get just as much sentence yeah. for a hit, for a conspiracy, if I tell someone to, to bash you. If I go, hey mate, go get that yeah. I'm just as much in trouble. Because, so you're just as much in trouble, yeah. morally, yeah. for the disconnect. You're, you're doing it. Yeah, 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 I get what you're saying. I think maybe this might sound really stupid and I might get saying it but maybe if there was like a bit more awareness on what's actually happening like maybe on the actual product packaging it might disconnect certain people right. if I put human meat on that product you would not buy it in a second no. you'd be like that if I, put, if I put dog meat on that packet you would not buy it in a second no. why do you hate these animals so much yeah think about what the word hate means right it can mean anger but it can also mean if you're prejudice I think it's just kind of like growing up with that's the norm. Culture. Do you know what I mean? I mean like, kid, like, like, yeah. So, yeah. Like, so it's habit, like, isn't it? Yeah. It's habit and it's disconnect. Yeah. But now... Like, kids, like, kids eat chicken nuggets, don't they? So if I put a dog meat stamp on it, you wouldn't buy it, would you? Because you don't eat dogs. I wouldn't eat And why don't you eat dogs? Because I've got... You've got, got a dog. dog, but there's something about your dog. Why do you like your dog? Uh, it's affectionate. What's your dog's name? Uh, Nova. They're an individual, right? Yeah. And if I killed your dog, you'd be upset and you'd want to probably kill me or something bad to happen to me because I've taken someone from you. Yeah. And what happens to Nova matters to Nova. If I boot Nova, it's not bad to boot him because it's uh, it looks cruel or something. It's bad because it hurt Nova. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, to me, yeah I do look at her as an individual. If someone like killed her or harmed her, I'd happily sit in a cell. Exactly. And, and I'd f***ing join you, bro. Yeah. But these are all individuals here, like Nova. Yeah. Should you sit in a cell every time you pay for them to get... What if I paid someone to kill Nova? Should I sit in a cell? It's ordering a hit, isn't it? The excuse doesn't work, really. Like, you have to either say, look, I know that I'm a fucking, I'm cruel. I don't give a, I don't care enough to fucking just buy something else. Walk five meters to buy something else. I don't care enough. And just yeah. like- Have you ever eaten meat before? Yeah, oh, yeah, for years, years and years. You did? I used to be a massive meat eater. I was also yeah. a violent gang member, to be honest with you. I was eating steaks and I was disconnected, man. Yeah. But I, I, if I seen someone, like my mate showed me a hunting video once and I was like, why are you showing me that? Or bro. Yeah. And I was eating meat eater then, but I was like, you think I think that's fucking funny, dude? Yeah, because there's videos on Facebook yeah. of people chasing, like, they like hogs around with like yeah. assault rifles on trucks, yeah. and they're like shooting them and they're like squealing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it's, that's for fun and all yeah. you to eat. Yours is for pleasure. You like the taste of chicken? I don't eat meat for pleasure, I do it for nutrition. Okay. And seriously? You seriously don't do it for taste? What nutrition are you getting out of a uh, chicken? that you can't get from plants. I think it's just a low-fat, high-protein source. Yeah, there's low-fat, high-protein sources of plant yeah, protein of course, as well. Of course, um, you've got um, kidney beans. No, 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 bro, you got tofu, you got seitan, you got uh, mock meat. There's nothing really in a piece of chicken, to be honest, nutrition-wise. I meant more red meat, to be honest with you. Copper, iron, magnesium, potassium, okay. Okay. phosphorus, selenium, zinc. So? Yeah. I can't pronounce some of these. Chaline, omega-3. Yeah, you can get all that on plants. But that, that is a nutritious bit of food, though, no? I mean, there's also a bunch of sat fat, cholesterol, there's a bunch oh, yeah. of other things in it. Yeah. And red meat's got bad, associated with bad health outcomes when you look at population yeah. data. Some of the best data has been done on red meat itself. And that's why uh, it's something they, they teach you to minimize yeah. because of its... But yeah, you can get a bunch of nutrition from human meat as well. I'm sure yeah. it's got exactly the same minerals, maybe more. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, yeah, um, yeah, keep up what you're doing anyway. It's good work. I'll let you go, brother. I know you're not... You've been here for fucking ages. I know you don't want to hear, I know, I know you don't want to hear it, right? But it's probably... It's better than nothing. Like, I can't stop eating meat, but I'll try a bit of tofu. <laughs> that's all I can promise you. Bless you. Really nice talking to you. You'll be vegan soon. Okay. Take care.